Hi guys, it's Ellen and today I have a new art journal page to share with you. I have a vintage sewing pattern here and I'm going to start by gluing that on the page. Originally I thought I might be able to see the design through what I do but I end up covering it up so this is just to add texture really and I'm deliberately scrunching up the paper when I glue it down. This page I'm all about experimenting with texture so I add a lot to my background at the beginning. So once that's dry I'm adding some scraps of some corrugated cardboard just in the top left and the bottom right hand corner of my page and I have a new filming setup so my camera is now directly over my page instead of at an angle which is great but I keep forgetting that my camera is further over now so that my head keeps going into frame so I'm sorry about that if it's annoying <laughs> So I'm just gluing those down once again with PVA glue and then I'm also going to add some of this. I think this was sort of an inside tube of um, some wrapping paper so it's quite thick brown paper again. It's more just to add texture. Everything is going to be painted over with gesso so you won't see any of the colours, it's just the texture that I wanted. I now have some gold bottle caps that I'm going to add to my page. I work in a pub so these are quite easy to come by. And to adhere them to the page I'm just going to use my glue gun because I don't think PVA would really stick it to the page very well. Now I have this old stencil, I have no idea where this comes from, <laughs> I can't remember, um, and I'm just taking some texture paste with a spatula and just passing that through the stencil, I'm not trying to get this perfect, it's supposed to be a bit messy, so I'm adding that, and then I wanted to add more texture, <laughs> so I know that you can get something called grip paste and it's sort of like texture paste but I, I think it's like a much thicker consistency and I'm sh I think it has like small um, like maybe stones or something in it I'm not entirely sure but I thought I would make my own and to do this I added coffee to texture paste this actually worked out really well so I just mixed it up to the consistency that I wanted it to be and then I'm adding it all around those bottle caps. Um, it sort of looks the same as I've seen people use um, art stones and once again I don't have any of these so and the effect when it's all painted is, is quite similar but it's an easy way to get that, to use things at home to create that. And then adding more texture paste around some more of the areas in between the bottle caps. 
Once it's painted over, it just makes it look more sort of one piece rather than things just glued randomly to a page. Now painting over the entire page with white gesso. I do this a couple of times because the coffee and the brown paper and the gold bottle caps um, didn't cover overly well the first time so I think you'll only see me do this once. Just thick white gesso all over the page. So as you can see I used a blue colour to paint all around the outside edges of my page and where I have sort of the most texture and then I'm going in with a black paint in the centre of the page. I'm just painting this on with a brush and then I'm going to use my sponge to sort of merge the two colours together so it's not just like a blob of black paint in the middle, it looks more uh, faded. So I'm just using my DecoArt gold metallic acrylic paint and just dabbing over the areas with the most texture So I finally got myself a Big Shot die cutting machine which I was super excited about. It's it's not new, it's new to me, it's, I got it second hand um, from a lovely lady who also gave me lots of dies with it and with that came this beautiful Tim Holtz alphabet die. 
So I've used that and a couple of different pattern papers to cut out the two main words of my quote. So my quote reads, you are beautiful even on your darkest days. So I chose the words beautiful and darkest to be sort of the main part of the quote. I like to mix up the fonts that I use with my quotes, it just adds more interest to the page. So once I had cut those out, I just added a bit of black pen in the centre just to make it more readable. And then the rest of the quote I just used a black pen and wrote on some textured card. And then I'm just gluing the quote onto the page. And that was the quote was sort of the inspiration for the page, so I wanted to make something beautiful out of things that would normally get thrown away, like cardboard. Um, and the uh, the bottle caps, you know, you wouldn't usually use those things. So that was the inspiration for this page, is to use things that I have at home. You don't always need to buy expensive art supplies to create something really pretty. So that is my page all finished. So I have some brilliant photos of the texture for you to look through. You can really see it so much better than you can on the video. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and as always thank you very much for watching, bye!